on this historic site in Wilton, where the original town meeting house was built back in 1752, is a community theater that inspires young people. On this stage every summer, kids ages 8 to 18 come together and work with visiting artists to produce original plays. Jared Mazzacci is the producing artistic director of Andy Summer Playhouse. He's been on staff for 12 years, but came here as a student. I was a kid. I did a workshop in Milford, New Hampshire. My mom and dad uh, wanted me to get out of the house and like I had a lot of energy and so I did a one week uh, workshop in Milford and then the workshop leader that year was like he should try out for this place called Andy's and so 96 I joined and uh, I was here as a kid from 96 to 2003. Jared started out acting, but eventually began writing and directing plays, taking part in the apprenticeship program. And built sets, hung lights, learned all of the different backstage stuff. Andy Summer Playhouse had its original roots in Mason, where it drew the attention of C.W. Anderson. Known as Andy, C.W. was an internationally acclaimed writer and illustrator of stories about children and horses. He spent summers in Mason and loved the idea of a children's theater. C.W. Anderson passed away the year before Andy started, um, and because all of these uh, were framed inside the town hall, and if you were a friend of C.W., he'd let you call him Andy. So as a friend of Andy's, it became Andy's Playhouse, and uh, inside the town hall with all of his portraits. Eventually, Andy's moved from Mason to this spot in Wilton, where it continues its mission of sparking creativity and curiosity among kids ages 8 to 18. Here, children learn all aspects of theater, and everyone is treated equally. If you're 10, if you're 18, which we have people come in for the first time at both age ranges, uh, they are experiencing the exact same thing. Andy's, I think, is a big part of that uh, realization that this is something that I want to continue doing even after I graduate from Andy's. Elsa says getting on stage at Andy's Playhouse transformed her life. Because I was able to have conversations with people about things, and I had empathy for other people more and I was growing that and I could see like the audience and I could see their hearts growing seeing certain things um, in multiple different shows that I've been in uh, since doing Andy's. What is this? I built it with mom's old blueprints. All her work was destroyed, not all of it. Andy's Playhouse attracts professional artists and playwrights, many of whom have won Emmys, Tonys, and Pulitzer Prizes. Performance art, dance, video, set and lighting design. Students don't sit and watch the pros. They're handling every aspect of putting on this original work. I really like um, telling stories, I guess, in the way that Andy's does things here. And I think the work that we make is really cool. 17-year-old <laughs> Oliver Keller came to Andy's at age 8. I have this really interesting relationship with theater, I think, where Andy's is just really special to me. And, you know, it, it's a lot of, a lot of times it's the people that keep me coming back. For Andy's 52nd year, the company performed three original works, starting with the play called The Path Less Chosen. A play about a group of kids who stumble upon a magical trail. Jared wrote and directed the piece, which had audience members choosing different paths for the kids to take. Every performance was different. So that was really fun. Um, it was like my first experiment, experience with that. and. Um, Jared was like, so do you know how to do like, you know, software stuff? And I'm like, sure. So then it was the whole voting thing. And it was, it was a really fun experience that was, yeah. Parents we spoke to say bringing their kids to Andy's was the best decision they made. Amanda Dumont's nine-year-old son, Ben, 
is handling the lighting. I've never seen him so uh, passionate and feeling connected about something. What is going on in there? Riley Dunham's mom, Beth, says her daughter's first day included taking part in a musical video with a band visiting from New York. She was just nine years old, and Beth recalls what her daughter said after her very first day. She gets in the back of the car and she said, Mom, that's the greatest day of my life. So I knew at that point that we had really found something special. Visitors can learn about Andy's history in this room that holds memorabilia dating back more than 50 years, including old scripts, props and pictures, and this letter from the author of Charlotte's Web, E.B. White, writing in 1980, praising the Playhouse for its adaptation of his famous book. I think what makes Andy so unique is just how much the children are a part of the process. I think there's no place like Andy's. So. While most kids look forward to graduation, the kids at Andy's don't like to think about that. I get sad when just one season ends, but it's just so special that I get to be there and I spend a lot of my summer here. Um, but it's never really like missing out on a summer. Like this is just like, you know, the best summer that I could get because I'm spending time with a ton of really cool people doing really cool things, you know? Very proud. Our mission is uh, not about adults making work for kids to do, but it is about making new work eye to eye with people of all ages, for audiences of all ages. Yeah.